Right, here's our battle against the Statinator from o &M. This is a really match. Um, the this dollar day, actually, I actually uploaded it last night, but oddly enough, this sound went completely out of sync. And I think it's something to do with my Windows Movie Maker. As every time I seem to record, it seems to lag up, which causes sound to just go on for longer for some reason. Not too sure why, but hopefully this time it will be actually in sync. A change. So yeah, he gets an as elf lead, I get the raptor, I just go for a U-turn in case he switched out, um, so I could just scale out to see what he'd go to in case he thought I was scarfed. Obviously not as he's subbed up, so I switch to Kangas King now, I go for a fake out, luckily for me he goes for a thunder wave here as I have a lumberry, so um, yeah, I'm going to cure myself his status and go for the return. Even though the um, T-wave wasn't too, wouldn't mean too bad on Kangaskhan unless I kept getting fully paralysed. So he brings into explosion here, I'm not 100% sure whether I would love it or not at the time. I did a damage calculation and it would have done about 69 to 81% with max special attack, um, but he gets a crit so that's going to take Kangaskhan down. I was going to go for the earthquake which um, either would have killed or done a lot of damage and weakened the Russian's power, so yeah that would been quite good. So I've got a little penny now just to fake him, fake him out. Um, we switch out to Don Fan, which isn't too good. We go for such a rare just to weaken Don Fan's attack, and he goes for Body Slam, which actually doesn't really do too much at all to Lopani anyway. I know it's an unstabbed move, but I thought it would have done a bit more. So this is Felix now, I'm um, thinking he'll go for another Body Slam, but he doesn't. He goes for the Earthquake, which does a bit more than I thought considering he's burned, but it has a stab, super effective move, so yeah, it's still going to do something. So here I realise um, the bad move I actually did, which was bring a wall in another wall. Um, so yeah, even though he isn't doing too much damage to me, I won't be doing too much damage to him. The only advantage I have is I have leftovers, but he has no leftovers and he's burning. So yeah. And so I decided to switch to Porygon 2 here, as uh, so it's the better option if he had to special attacks, which obviously don't find fears. So he goes for the Earthquake, doesn't do particularly that much, um, next turn on Leftovers and wait full HP anyway, if he doesn't attack of course. So he switches out to um, Belazikin to take the Ice Beam, I could have went for the Discharge as it wouldn't have been a big risk but I decided just to go for the Ice Beam anyway, it should hopefully hit something that comes in. So he goes for the Endure now, I go for the Discharge, um, even if I did have some like Tri-Attack or T-Ball, um, I don't think they would have done too much more damage anyway. Probably maybe activated a Salic Berry, but I don't think it would have actually had a chance to KO him. So, yeah, it goes for Reverse Shot, it doesn't do too much that turn, and yeah, I'll get the Paralyzer now, and the same turn he gets the Salic Berry boost. So, I'm not too sure whether it would have speed me or not, so he does have a Salic Berry boost, but obviously he's a lot slower. Um, I could have went for a Toxic on him, but um, it would have been able to stop him enduring, but I would have actually also increased the power of Reversal, so yeah, I didn't really want a chance that. And luckily for me, I still out speed, so yeah, that was quite nice. So it's just a Typhlosion on again, and Party 1 2 is probably my best thing to use against. I don't have anything else I could really switch in at the moment. So he goes for the Overheat instead of Eruption, which is really good, as I say, we love it. I go for the Discharge, hoping for the Power Hacks, but I don't get it, but it's kind of unfair. Just going, going Power Hacks, Power Hacks, and yeah. So I switch to Lopani now to take the overheat, so I'm going to keep probably going to for later. Um, hopefully bring it on and something now allow me to recover. So yeah, he's... Not able to take Lopani down, which is quite nice. I go for the fake out, obviously, just for some damage, and yeah, it does a fair amount to need to gain. Um, Lopani actually generally does a bit decent amount of damage, and um, considering I think I've only six attack EVs and the rest of them are speed and HP. Um, but yeah, I stay in here as fodder pretty much just to see what kind of need of king he was if he was scarfed, if he was special, if he was physical. Um, Seeing here he's not scarfed, I can bring Staraptor and I can intimidate him, make him not even want bother about going for the Sucker Punch because it won't do too much. Um, so I go for the return and Dunfan comes in. I was actually thinking I'll do enough damage for Burn to take him out if he brought Dunfan in, but I was actually a one hit KO. But it's probably because of the choice bands that comes in quite useful. So I wasn't too sure if I would live on over here or not here, but I decided just to see if I would or not. It gets a crowd and damage calculation and it would have took me down regardless anyway. So it didn't matter too much. I bring Steelix in, and kind of hoping that maybe I'll live it. At the other hand, just really lower special attacks again. Party gone two in. Just another crit, which was utterly useless. As at that point, I think he did 99.7% minimum there, so it would have killed anyway. 
setting Paragon 2 in and I'm um, able to level overheat which is pretty nice. And I think that was his last overheat where he now he's just ran out of PP for it which is pretty good so he's going to have to switch away anyway. I never noticed at the time but um, yeah so let's go for the discharge hoping he doesn't go in Nido King and he doesn't go to Kangaskhan and I would actually like that both of us got a Kangaskhan in the roulette as I that just don't generally see Kangaskhan that much in standard battle. I might actually try using Kangaskhan a bit more. I've actually moved it over onto Platinum now, um, as I used to use it quite a bit. So he's obviously not very happy there. Um, well, she's not very happy because um, Return didn't do too much. I'm not too sure how much it would have done if it was full powered. I'm hoping here it wouldn't have been a to hit KO anyway at the HP I had. Otherwise, it could have caused problems. But even if it was full powered, I could have switched the scissor around, who would have been able to take it anyway. And the only problem is how Paragon would maybe deal against um, Typhlosion. So I go for the Bullet Punch. I'm pretty sure he had Counter, so I'm pretty sure that was one I gave him. Um, so if he lived, he would have got Counter off. Um, brings New King here, um, pretty much um, thinking he's lost the game. Even I think here it would have been better if he went to Typhlosion instead of New King, as New King did have a slight chance to maybe take Paragon 2 down. I'm not too sure. He goes for Eruption now, as. To be fair, I don't think any other moves that Typhlosion generally would have would be able to take Scissor down. So I guess Eruption is probably the best option. Um, I'm not too sure if the Blaze Booster helped KO, but considering it's a stab 4 times super effective move, it's probably going to take Scissor down regardless anyway. So yeah, Russian actually still is doing a decent amount, and guessing this actually is because of Blaze. And now he's practically at 1 HP, so it's not going to do anything much now. And yeah. So, I don't know why, I always think this charge has a low accuracy instead of a low base power. That's why I went for Ice Cream in case it missed. And I forgot that Eruption would have been incredibly weak at that point as well. So yeah, that was a good game near the, um, good game near the Stanator. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll hopefully have some more videos soon.